Uh, uh, Y'all should have moved here instead. Best state in the union. That's a great state. What state? Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, they say, you know they say Missouri loves company. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Comics are like, like after I saw that fucking um, Joey Diaz thing. First of all, Joey, you know, Joey Diaz wants everyone to think he's like, you know, gangster, used to be a gangster. He's a fucking comic. He's a comic who does, who, who, who prides himself on being a party guy. But then now all of a sudden he's like, hey, we're going to, we're going to take you out. And he never said Red Bar's name, but that's what everyone's saying he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> then Jimmy told me he smoked the Florentine. He spoke the trips. And then I called Sammy Trips. Oh, my God. What the fuck happened with our boy from Chicago? Yeah, don't say his fucking idiotic name. He's a fucking... This guy is hiding. But it's like... And also, I tweeted, that like, if you're really going to do some. You're not going to put on a podcast because then the cops are going to come looking for you. So, so he knows that. So, so I guess he's saying the red bar, you know, you, you better keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Like Chris Red did with me and he knocked the tea out of my hand. Anyway, long story short. So I don't know. I, it just seemed like six degrees of fucking Joey Diaz because. You know, he the clip I saw, he was he saw I don't know if you mentioned Florentine or or a little bit of Florentine. <laughs> then Jimmy told me he smoked the Florentine. Jimmy told me he smoked the Florentine. He smoked the Florentine. But it's like and then Florentine, you know, I listen, I'm not gonna say anything bad about Florentine because he's a he's a good egg and and I stand by him, but but um but he's tight with Chad still, I think. And Chad's talking shit about my family. So I wonder how Flo does Jim have a Jim Florentine have a problem with like what Chad's doing, or does he not know, or or he must know something? Like if me and Chad are falling out, I'm sure Chad. I don't think Chad would go. Yeah, I was talking shit about his daughter, and that's why Kevin got mad. You know the Dave Lando thing that I was doing a callback on because Chad's so clever. So I wonder if that came up because. Because they're going after uh, Tripoli, supposedly he's hunting down. I can't see Tripoli hunting down anybody. But Tripoli was hunting down, supposedly, Red Bar in Arizona. I think I, fucking I, legs. Red Bar and I will have a conversation face-to-face, -face, and he needs to know that. I'm not like these other motherfuckers. Why don't you come say that to my face? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we were about. He's like, oh, yeah, why don't you come say that to my face? Yeah, say it to my fucking face, then. You other motherfucker. Come say it to my face. I'll give you my address. In Chicago. Talking about my <laughs> fucking kids. Listen. Here it comes. Here it I'm comes. Him face to face. And he needs to know that. I'm Listen. not like these other motherfuckers. Talking about my fucking kids. You heard what I said about them kids? Do we have a song I could sing about your kids? Pull up uh, Eric Clapton's, um, what's that song about uh, tears in heaven? Life is fucking weird. And he's talked a lot of shit about a lot of people. And finally, Tripoli hired an investigator and found him in Tucson hiding. Knocked on his condo. He was out there for 10 hours, Tripoli. Hang on more. Press one for more options. Mike, I'm gonna get ya! And you're gonna sing the song you sang about my daughters! I'm gonna fucking get ya! You fucking tough guy! Come the fuck down, you fucking piece of shit! Fucking sing about my daughters! You fucking scumbag! You're gonna make it right! You're gonna sing the song in front of me! Triple's gonna kill him. And the guy wouldn't come down. I give him credit for not calling the police, you know what I'm saying? Because a typical white privilege move is to call the police. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I know you didn't. But here's the problem. When the cops do come, somebody's going to show them all the videos that you said and all the shit you talked about. And let me tell you something. It's not going to be a good day for you. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not 
angry. I don't wish nothing bad at you. And I knew this was going to happen to you because you're a fucking moron. Your father gave you too much money. You, you're a failed fucking comic. You're a failure as a comic. The only thing you could basically do is get on a fucking computer and say lies about people and talk shit about people. Really, bro? So now you had to leave your home in Chicago and hide in Tucson. When one dude went too far with my kids, I'm super sensitive about all that shit. So is Red Bar gone before me? I don't know, dude. I would love to meet up with him. Just talk to him face to face. I'm going to one day. I don't care what he does. If he comes back, I don't fucking care. Got to come up for here sometime, motherfucker. I'm telling you, dude, you went, he went too far. It's not cool. What he did, I'm going to fuck him up for it. I'm going to fuck up his wife, too. She fucking did it, too. So it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. You don't do that, dude. Okay? I, I do pinata me all a lot. Don't, what he did was too fucking far. Sam Tripoli Kids. Let's see what comes up. I mean, this is public. Oh! Even I won't pull this up. I, know, I was just going to say. I mean, I have to. <laughs> hey, I'm a comedy god, right? Sam, so, don't censor us. Don't censor don't me. Don't censor us. Sorry, Sam. This is just pure comedy. And a one and a two. Oh, wait. No jokes are too far. No jokes are too far, bro. Uh-oh. Hold on a sec. This is dedicated to Sam's family. Did the doctor know that your two kids are brain dead? And, and, and he's going to fucking pay for it, dude. And he, every time he puts out a video, that's another minute of beating that guy gets. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. You got to come up for air. You're fucking in hiding. You're fucking... You, you, you've done a million different ghost address so people can't fucking find you. Okay? You got to come up for air sometime, motherfucker. Would you even know? If I chop their heads off and use them as ski balls right to your wife's cunt. I, I don't care how old we are, dude. What you did to my family is fucking not cool. And I'm gonna, and you could cut this up and put it on the red bar thing and they could all come here. And they're just adding to it, dude. They're just adding to it. You're going to come up for air, dog. You're going to come up for air. You're going to come up for air, dude. Oh, I just know these kids don't belong on earth. You are you and your wife and your two little kids are nobody wants that around. You're anti decor. You make every situation look worse. You when are you walk, not tiki. You're not tiki. You're ugly, you're poor, you're low rent, you're uneducated. You're the problem. And this guy's going to sit around and talk about black people. I'd rather have this whole place a bunch of mumbo jumbo monkeys jumping around, swinging from vine to vine in my house than to have families like this aggravating my parks. <laughs> so disgusting. This guy, did you need this? You're living in Tucson hiding over a podcast? Think about that. Think about how bad your life is that you're hiding in Tucson over a pie. Now where are you going to go next? Because now we got your number. Tripoli got you with a fucking investigator. What, what are you going to do now, man? And for me, I'm not here to wish you bad. I'm not here to tell you I'm going to hunt you down. That's not even going to happen. I'm concerned with my wife and my daughter and what's going on here. Even though you had people call my wife and threaten my daughter. You don't think I knew it was you. We traced back all the numbers. Even though you said things about my friend's daughter, even though you said things about Rogan's daughter, you were talking about kids and you were saying a lot of weird stuff about people, bro. So this is what you got coming to you. So now what really dazzled me and what people really need to know is how big of a pussy you were that you didn't even come downstairs to meet Tripoli. Mike, I'm gonna get ya, and you're gonna sing the song you sang about my daughters. I'm gonna fucking get ya, you fucking tough guy. Come the fuck down, you fucking piece of shit. 
fucking think about my daughters? You fucking scumbag. You're going to make it right. You're going to see something in front of me. So Joey Diaz is like, don't talk about people's kids. I 100% agree. 100% agree. I couldn't be in more agreement. But I wonder, like, uh, well, I just wonder. I wonder how Chad feels and Ken Mosca feel about um, about that. Do, were they are they with Joey Diaz on that, or are they are they against Joey Diaz? Do they think you should be able to talk about people's kids? Because Chad did and Landau did, and Ken Mosca one hundred percent co-signs it. First of all, let's put it this way: the Louis C.K. thing is a good analogy. If 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 I if I if I'm doing dates with Louis C.K. That basically means I'm okay with Louis' behavior. So when Louis first started, actually he started in Governors. That's when I first started working with him when he did his comeback in 2018, December 2018, Governors. This is the first show he did. He was doing some shows with the seller, but this is the first show he did outside of the city where he's doing a full set. So if I had a problem with what Louis did, like, like he wasn't still doing it, First of all, but if I had a big problem, if, so basically, if I'm doing shows with Louis, I'm I'm okay with what I'm okay with like Louis's behavior. Like, do I jerk off in front of people? No, but I don't have a big problem with like I don't have a big problem with like his behavior. And also, he wasn't doing it anymore. So, so that's my point. Like, if I'm if I'm working with the guy, I'm okay with his behavior. That's how I see it. So if Ken Mosca is doing shows with Chad, first of all, Chad was doing it while they're doing shows. So it'd be like if Louis was jerking off, like he would be like, hey, hey, get out of here for a second. I want to jerk off in front of the waitress or, or a female comic. And then I was still like, oh, OK, yeah, what time's the show tomorrow, Louis? But that wasn't even happening. So it was in the past. And uh, but so the point is, Ken Mosca while Chad's still talking shit about my family, Ken Mosca's still doing shows. So, so Ken Mosca is 100% endorsing Chad's behavior. He completely, even if he says otherwise, he's completely endorsing it and he's okay with it. If you're doing shows, like I said, it's, it's a perfect analogy. If I'm doing shows at Louis, I'm okay with what he's doing. And also, he wasn't doing it then. So if, so if Ken's doing shows... With, doing a podcast with Chad, he's 100% okay with Chad talking about my family. That's, that's, just the, that's just the way it goes. If you're working with the guy and you know the shit he's doing, it, then that means you're, you're okay with it. You're okay with it. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's one reason why I asked Ski Mask, because I'm like, okay, I, do sh I see Ski Mask at the Aunt Mead shows, and I see him, you know, whatever. So I'm like, so I want to know what what did you do with uh with, with that girl? Did you like were, did you sexually assault her? I want to get to the bottom of it cuz I'm like, yeah, I want to know. I want to get his side before I like make a decision like should I even work with Ski Mask if he's a fucking creep? But Ken Mosca is is uh 100% okay with Chad talking shit about um my family. He's a hundred because it's like if he's doing shows with them, he's a hundred percent. That's just the way it goes. If you know what a guy does, it's one thing if you don't know what the guy's doing. But if you know what the guy's doing, just like I knew what Louie had done, and I'm like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Like, do I do it? No. Uh or is he doing it now? No. But basically, if I'm working with him, I'm okay with it. So it the, the money wasn't really much then, but you know, I've known Louie for a long time. Uh, you know, Patrice is dead, Geraldo is dead a lot. It was a rough time. When we were coming up, it was a rough time. So, like, if he jerked off in front of a couple people, he probably regrets it. I guess looking back, it wasn't worth the fucking trouble. But, like, do I have a huge problem with it? Like, in the climate that we came up in, not really. I mean, it, there's much, it's not sexual assault. It's just, it's weird. But, like, am I okay with it? Do I do it? No. Was, was Louis doing it still? No. But but if I'm showing up with them, that means I'm kind of okay with it, and that's that's a fact. So if Ken Mosk is doing the show with Chad, when he knows all the shit Chad's been doing, then he's okay with it. He's okay with what Chad's doing. So Ken Mosk can be like, "No, I'm against that. I'm against that." Well, you're still doing the show with Chad. That means you're okay with it. That's a, means a hundred percent you're okay with it. 
So I just when I heard when I saw when I saw um, Joey Diaz mention it, and he was said he was talking to Tripoli, or and then I think he mentioned right at the beginning of the clip I saw. He, I guess he was said brought up Florentine's name, and that made me think like, oh wow, I wonder if Florentine knows that, because I'm sure Florentine is 100 percent is 100 percent with Joey Diaz. As am I that you shouldn't talk about people's kids. So I'm just wondering, like, uh, I'm wondering if, um, I mean, I'm not going to call Florentine and be like, how do you feel? But I'm just, I'm just curious, like, it just made me think, like, I wonder if Florentine knows that Chad's talking about, talking about my family in that, in that respect. Like, what's he, what he wants to do. I'm just curious. Maybe I'll have Florentine on. I'll do a Zoom show. But, you know, but he, cause he's friends with Chad. So I, I'm sure Chad gives a different story. Like, Kevin's a douche. Kevin's a narcissist. I don't take my dick out, and uh, that's that's narcissistic. To 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 be fair, taking I've never taken my I don't even take my dick out in front of my wife. I wait till we're real comfortable underneath plenty of covers, and then then it comes out. Then the groundhog comes out. 